Hello guys, my name is Mathur and welcome to my channel. This is the third tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell programming. Now in this tutorial we're going to check out two really important commands. The first command is the cal command and it is used to view the calendar. So if I type in cal and press enter, I would see the calendar of the current month and uh, obviously of the current year. So it's May 2012 and the current day is highlighted. Now the cal command is a pretty important command and uh, when we learn shell scripting uh, we would uh, put it to use in different ways. Now if suppose you want to view the calendar of not the current month but of some month uh, from the past or some month from the future for example if I want to view the calendar of July 2006 then what I would have to do is type in cal and then uh, follow that up with a space and then since July is the seventh month I have to type in seven and then the year which in this example will take 2006 and then press enter and there you go I can see that the calendar of July 2006 is displayed now this is a format that you have to obey you cannot type in the year first like 2003 April if you would do that then it will show an error message saying that 2003 is neither a month number nor a name now this brings us to an interesting observation this is and you know this brings us to uh, a very important point if suppose I do not want to type in a number for my month but if I want to type in uh, the uh, name I can do that as well but I don't even have to type in the full name for example if I want to view the calendar of uh, February 2033 then I can just type in FEB and that would uh, be taken as February and then the year 2000 oops sorry 2033 and then press enter and I can see the calendar of 2033 February okay it's not a leap year it cannot be so uh, that was uh, enough about cal command the next command that we're gonna check out is the date command now when I type in date and press enter I see the current date and uh, it gives me a lot of information firstly it tells me what day it is it's Sunday and uh, what month is it it's May and then it tells me the date which is it's the 20th day of the month and then it tells me the time it's 6 48 a.m. in the morning and it tells me my time zone which is IST Indian Standard Time and it also tells me the year so date is a pretty uh, good utility and it gives uh, output which is quite comprehensive but what if you want to view the date in a custom format not in the format in which it is uh, being displayed currently but in your own format you can do that and uh, this is how you do it you first type in date and then you give a space and use single quotation mark and press the addition symbol or the plus symbol and then you can basically uh, design your own custom format for example if I uh, first want to type in the string date now see this is the optional part this is not a part of the command so this can be in uppercase letters right and if, if I then want to put a colon and then if I suppose want to just see the month and uh, a hyphen and the year I would have to use percentage symbols before small m and small m which are symbols for month and year respectively and uh, then suppose if I want to see the time but I want to see the time on a new line I'll have to use uh, percentage n which uh, basically would tell the shell to display the time on a new line and then I can type in time and then follow it up with another colon and then uh, view it in what format hours minutes and seconds alright that would be fine so hours colon percentage capital M for minutes and colon percentage capital S for seconds and then I can close my format with ending single quotation mark and press enter 
and I can see my date and time being displayed in custom format. Now this uh, can be used and can also be avoided and we would see different ways of uh, displaying date in custom format later on when we get to shell scripting but for the time being I just wanted to give you guys uh, some insight about date and cal so I created this tutorial. Anyway in the next tutorial we'll be checking out few more important commands so please stick with me and I hope this isn't getting boring and um, yeah that's pretty much it I'll see you guys in the next tutorial please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching